Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Well, you guys saw me cut up that video. I want to go over and show you guys what I'm doing here. Um, this is a little mini bike that I picked up around the corner, right down the street, um, last year sometime. I got it running, ordered a new carburetor. It's a 97cc. And um, I've been watching a TV show, or not a TV show, but a, it's like a TV show, um, Red Beard's Garage on YouTube. I like the page. I subscribe to it. Check them out. It's really cool. Um, Red Beard, this one's for you. I'm uh, building this bad boy right here. It's a little um, doodle bug or razor, whatever you want to call it. It's a uh, razor, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I also do mini bikes and motorcycles and dirt bikes and stuff on my page. So give mine a check out. So anyway, what we're going to do, I like your idea, Red Beard, about the uh, budget build. So these are some parts and pieces. I uh, just demolished the snowblower that had track drive. So this is a motor right here I picked up from my scrap guy, Roland. Um, this right here came on an air compressor. I did a video on this one. This is the one I redid the tank on. I cleaned out the tank um, with the vinegar there and um, redid the carburetor and the petcock and got it all up and running. This is a three and a half horsepower Honda G150 engine. Three and a half horse with a uh, 5 8 shaft crank. So it's perfect mini bike motor. In fact, the linkage from this one right here, which is basically a Honda knockoff, will all fit right onto that machine. In fact, throttles in the same place, everything's the same. So we're going to use that Honda wrench, we're going to take the tank off and put it onto this bike right here. Then we're going to get rid of all this stuff in the back here we're going to put a plate on there with a uh, bearing we're going to put a bearing on there you can see how the axle shafts just about line up this tie is flat so by the time it's going to get the same ride height i kept the axle off the snowblower so we're going to put this axle right here as the drive axle right there like that and then um what do you call it there and then it'll be able to drive the two, um, what you call it there, the two tracks. So, by the time I figured it all out, this thing's going to look somewhat like that. The tire right here will be gone. I'm keeping the chain guard for the chain. We're going to change out the clutch, put a clutch on it, and um, this should be good to go. This is going to be a bad bike. Bad bike. So, these are what I'm using. They're just some track drives. It's a real simple system. Um, and up in here, there's one bolt goes through here, one bolt goes through here, and then we're going to put some bearings on it and um, fish it through the frame. So, this thing is going to be pretty darn cool. So, we're going to weld some plates on there or bolt them. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to do this as cheap and as uh, little low, um, low cost as possible. So, it's going to have track drive, it's going to be pretty cool. And then in the front, we're going to put a ski. So this is going to be a winter mini bike. So for now, we're going to keep it this way so he can drive it with the wheel. But we're going to make it so it's a universal fit. So we'll be able to pop the wheel off and put the ski on. And then he can ride the mini bike the way it is with the track drive. So the ratio is going to be a little off. But um, I think it'll be all right. So I think I think it'll go just fine with centrifugal clutch and a three and a half horsepower. So, that is my plans for this bike right here. Um, once again, the track drive right there. This all came from a um, snowblower that I got from Roland, my scrap guy. And this came off of an air compressor that I got from my scrap guy, Roland. And I like to take things and mingle them and max, match them and, and kind of put them together. So, um, that came off of an air compressor frame which I have the cage to it right underneath the motor. You guys saw the video of me getting that running. And then this is a snowblower that I got from Roland. And um, this whole front part is gonna go on a snowblower that my neighbor's got, because he's got a nice snowblower over there with a really bad front end. So I'm gonna take this snowblower front end right here, and then that's a 32 inch, 10 horse. And my next door neighbor has over here in his his collection, this is the cool thing about having neighbors like this, because they have the same, you're in the same interest. 
He's got this machine right here that the whole front end is all rusted to heck. See, it's a 12 inch impeller, 10 horsepower, 29. This machine right here will receive that whole new front end and make it a, a 10 horsepower, 32. But it'll be a wheel drive, big wheel. So that's gonna work on here perfectly. And it's got the, uh, it's got a better chute on it and all the mechanism. So that's gonna go on this machine. So we'll be doing a YouTube video on that. He told me I could come over here and grab one and work on him. So uh, I'm going to take him up on that offer. And I'm going to get this one right here running for him. And then he can put that out there for sale. Be a nice machine with a uh, nice big front end on it. So anyway, that's what the plans are for that. And then, of course, the rest of it goes back to my scrap guy. So which works out pretty cool. So, no junk kicking around. Recycle, reuse. So, yeah, this thing's got the nice big tall chute, 12-inch impeller. So that whole piece right there is going to go right on that snowblower. Then, I get to put the track drive on a mini bike. How cool is that? So, it's going to have be powered by Honda, track drive from a old Sears and then on a Chinese doodle bug. So we're gonna have to change the chain, the sprocket, um, the disc brakes. I'm gonna put a flange on the shaft and we're gonna keep the disc brakes. We're gonna keep that all the same. We're gonna use that disc. We're just gonna put a, um, a hub on that axle so it'll be able to be adjusted. So the hub will slide on and clamp onto the axle and it will drive the um, the rotor. No, not the rotor, the disc. And then the, we'll keep the bracket mounted right here so we can just move it to where it needs to go and boom. And then on this side over here, we'll cut this plate off and weld a plate here and do that on the other side as well so we can keep, we want to keep the chain guard. And I think that's going to work out great. And then we'll put the centrifugal clutch on there with the, um, what do you call it there? Centrifugal clutch with the, um, what do you call it there? Bigger chain. And then boom. So, just another project we're working on. But this is going to be fun. We're going to keep the wheel. Like I said, we're going to keep the wheel so he can drive it around the yard now. And, of course, I want to try it too. And then we're going to take the, um, the wheel off in the front. And then have a ski that we're going to be able to put on there and just bolt down. And then he'll have a ski for the winter. So, this thing is a pretty cool, um, pretty cool motor. We're going to take that fuel tank off because we're not going to use it. We're going to take that fuel tank off right there and we're going to put that in the front somewhere. So, we can use that tank on that motor because this one ain't going to fit underneath the seat because the motor's too tall. So, the motor will fit without the tank. Like, it's, you know, bigger than that motor, obviously. So, that's going to be a pretty substantial increase. It's going to have more power. And it's going to be able to, um, well, it's going to have track drive. How cool is that? So, anyway, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. You guys are awesome. This is some pretty cool stuff. Redbeard, check out my page. I hope you like it. hope you like what I do on my page as well. Um, I love your mini bike uh, videos. I like your go-kart videos. I got go-karts and I do that type of stuff too. Um, but it's pretty cool to see what else is out there. You know, he's... Check out Redbeard's Garage. Um, he's got all kinds of high performance stuff that he does with his uh, mini bikes. It's a shout out, you know. And um, this bike is inspired by his videos. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe.